Good morning all, respected principal, chief guests, resource persons, faculty, staff and student body. Loving greetings to you all in the precious name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I thank and praise God for this awesome privilege. Indeed, it's a great, great joy and honor to bring God's word on this auspicious day. Let me begin with one quote. Desamante mattikado, desamante mansuloi. In the utmost nationalistic spirit, Gurujada Venkataparao, the Mahakavi, the great poet of Andhra Pradesh in the year 1910, wrote these lines, the meaning of which is, country is not just a mud and the soil, country means people. So a country is not just the geographical position or its climatic conditions, it is the people that live in that place. Helping the nation is helping the people living in the nation. Contributing to the nation is contributing to the well-being of the people of this nation. So we the Christian community in India, as early from the first century, has been contributing for the socio, cultural, religious, political and economic aspects of our nation India. India is a land of plurality of pluralities. We are the people of diversities. We are geographically diverse. We have the snowy Himalayas, a desert, hot summer south with rivers and surrounded by ocean. Political, ideologically we are diverse. We have the extreme right wings and left wings, both ruling different parts of the same country. Religiously we are diverse. We are the land that gave birth to different religious and accommodated all the religions of the world. Economically, we are diverse. We have the richest person of the Asia and also the poorest people who cannot afford daily bread. I would like to use the words of one of my gurus and say, India is a salad bowl. Though such sophisticated and ancient established culture, India is still in making. We are progressing yet not complete. We are living in a house under construction. As Christians, we have and continue to contribute to the nation building. But today, we are here to present and discuss and contemplate how this theological education must help for national building, what are the various paths to enable our theological education for nation building. So for this purpose, I draw some important characteristics from the life and ministry of a theologian, scribe and a priest, Ezra of Israel. We all know Ezra, the scribe and the priest from the line of Aaron. He carried the second group of second group written of Jews from Jerusalem from Persia in the reign of King Artaxerxes. It was more than 70 years of refuse life uh, for those Jews who were carried away into slavery and exiled by Babylon and King Nebuchadnezzar. Now the Persian kingdom was established. So the remnant of those in the exile began to return with the religious tolerance decrease of the kings. Ezra being theologian of his day led people to Jerusalem, his motives were not political rather than theological. He wanted to re-establish a nation that loves God and live by God's statutes. He gathered priests and Levites who all are willing to go to Jerusalem along with him. He traveled for four months and reached Jerusalem. And Ezra chapter 7 verse 10 gives the remarkable resolution of Ezra to build the nation of Israel with the theological education. This is what the scripture says. Let's turn our attention to Ezra chapter 7 verse 10. Let me read it for you. For Ezra had set his heart to study the law of the Lord and to do it and to teach his statutes and rules in Israel. The book of Ezra repeatedly says that Ezra was a scribe and a priest. From the past seven decades, the people of Judah were in exile it was the time of slavery and hardship. More than anything, the isolation from the temple city, Jerusalem was much more painful for them. And it is very hard to raise a scribe in exile. So Ezra might be one of those who were brought into slavery by Nebuchadnezzar. He might have been a old man by the time of return to Jerusalem. Still the scripture says that he set his heart. The Hebrew word here is labab, used here means its inner man a seat of appetite, a seat of emotions and patience. So it implies that his zeal to build the nation by, of Israel by theological education has become a part of his inner being. 
he was hungry for it it became an emotion and a passion for him to achieve this most important resolution of his life he set three responsibilities for himself the three responsibilities are first one is to seek the word of the lord to study the word of the lord and to teach the word of the lord let me repeat it for you to seek the word of the lord to study the word of the lord and to teach the word of the lord the first one is to seek the word of the lord the beginning of building a nation through theological education begins with one own self to impart theological education one needs to be theologically equipped ezra was a scribe even before he took this resolution to teach but now it was not just a vocation but rather passion for this passion to be quenched ezra determined to seek the word of the lord the hebrew verb here you see it is daras it means to study it's in call infinitive construct means to keep on seeking it is not one time process but a continuous progression ezra began his national building by preparing himself every day the book of nehemiah repeatedly says that the remnant community was read the scripture every day by ezra so if any one of us here is interested in doing what ezra has done to israel if we want to contribute to our nation theologically it is essential we seek the word of the lord on the daily basis theological endeavor is an ongoing learning theological education for nation building requires continuously seeking the word of the lord the second responsibility is to do the word of the lord the second responsibility is to do it some of us may ask what to do it in this context it is to do with the law of the lord so what does it mean to do the word of the lord the hebrew verb here is used is asha it means to do means to act with effect it is not just learning the word of the lord but ezra resolute to act what he has learned the word of the lord that keeps on seeking every day is not just to amplify his intellectual ability or to bring political stability but to act obediently to the impart knowledge of god's word the author here also employs the same call infinitive construct using implying that it is a daily act of obedience so we are in a dire need of praxis oriented theology theology is not something limited to paper and ink on the contrary it needs to be employed and lived out on the daily basis ezra has determined to act out his theology setting a paradigm for us today in our context we need more of an indian philosophy possible theology that doesn't compromise the teaching of jesus we need indian way of living the word of god first to seeking the word of the lord secondly to act with effect that what we are seeking and finally to teach his statutes and rules the final step of ezra resolution was the concluding step in theological education for nation building to teach the word of the law the hebrew verb here used is lamat to teach is used in pl infinitive construct which implies an intensified and a resultative or causative meaning it means that this teaching should be an intensified teaching rather than a lecture or a sermon it means this teaching should be intensified and what brings more meaning to this is the causative expression which implies that the teaching should to, needs to be the result of above the two actions like seeking the word of the lord and the doing the word of the lord teaching is not a casual lecture but an intensified teaching with a regular experience of learning and by making it as a way of living so what has to be taught has to be learned so then it has to be practiced then it has to be taught such a teaching gives more credibility and impact on the resolution most of the theological scholars are running to this directly without the first two steps which inevitably leads to the futile result first seek his word then act his word and finally to teach his word as we are theologians in india we have been contributing to the social cultural religious political and economic aspects of our nation india which is a salad bowl what are the various paths we have in our life to enable our theological education for nation building let's examine our lives and equip our paths by seeking his word doing his word then finally teaching his word may god bless us through these words amen